Well, these noble mixers are always frightfully drab. You wouldn't be a dear and poison me, would you? <laughs> After speaking to the right honourable Viscountess Justinia, eighth in line to the Duchy of Extremely Boring People, I think I'd take a shot of Crested Cobra Venom, then go another round with her talking about the morality of fixed-rate economy. <laughs> <sighs> what about you? You look the decent sort. Seen anyone worth marrying yet? <laughs> As expected. These mixers are filled with the sons and daughters of tenpenny nobles looking to get a good marriage. This room reeks of desperation. But not you. I mean, don't get me wrong, I've, I've seen the rest circling you like piranhas around fresh meat. <laughs> I've also seen their attempts to woo you, and you walk away each time less and less impressed. <laughs> My guess is you're the heir to something good. So... Out of all of them, who was the worst? I would love to laugh at their misery. <laughs> oh, yes, no, yeah. you don't know me. I'm just very familiar with new people. Call it a character flaw. The Honourable Knight Riker of the River Duchies. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't tell me your name. If you tell me your name, I might know you, and that might give me a reason to flirt with you. <laughs> After all, there has to be a reason why all the big fish were swimming around you. Let's keep this anonymous. There's something fun about that. <laughs> now, you did not answer my question. Who made the worst attempt to woo you? Oh, Lord Lockwood, I pity you. <laughs> Met the man on a number of occasions. Being held verbally hostage by him is not a fate I would wish on any. <laughs> so, how many times did he tell you about his part in the Battle of Gregor's Bridge? <laughs> if it's any less than five, you got off lightly. <laughs> oh. He put you through the ringer with that story. <laughs> well, I fought at Gregor's Bridge, and I'll tell you, little Lord Lockwood spent most of the time hiding behind the ration crates. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, that was a subtle boast on my part. <laughs> but honestly, I don't fit in here in the slightest, and I am bitter about having to attend. Believe it or not, I'm actually not a noble. <gasps> Shocking, I know. If you have pearls, clutch them now. <laughs> Who could tell? <laughs> I'm a knight, unfortunately. I was granted the title after saving one too many damsels in distress. If I had known I was going to have to suffer through a knighthood, I would have let the dragon keep the damsel. <laughs> they seemed happy enough. Minus the screaming. <laughs> no, no, I just... There were no damsels or dragons. I took an arrow in the knee and got a knighthood for it. If I had known my lord would have expected me to marry well and act with dignity, well, I would have yelled at the archer to do a better job next time. Wait, was that a smile? Well, I was about to apologize for my dark sense of humor in noble company, but it seems I found a kindred spirit in hating these gatherings. <laughs> well, since we are kindred spirits, I have a proposition for you. Let's marry. <laughs> no, no. I don't know about you, but I'm not a fan of marrying people I've just met. How about instead, I pull up a seat and we pretend to be in a deep, heartfelt conversation. <laughs> that way all the other suitors will leave us alone. 
I doubt you're the type to be pining for a husband, and if you are, well, you won't find a good one here. <laughs> no, especially not me. Unless you have a thing for nihilistic knights without a penny to their name, in which case, I'm your dream man. <laughs> so, which parent is pressuring you to take a spouse? Mother or father? Typical. I was already a knight's page by the time my parents called the plague, thank goodness. After they did, the local duke went and took me in. Now he wants me to find a good spouse. There's only one small, teeny tiny detail he didn't account for. And quite honestly, from what I've been able to sense, I think it's something your family hasn't thought of either. What if we don't want good partners? What if we don't want someone to dote on us and act like they've been raised to? <laughs> what if we want something real, not manufactured nobility? I want someone bad. Someone who laughs at court, who acts unladylike, or not in a manner befitting a gentleman. <laughs> Someone who hates all of this as much as I do, who's as bitter as I am, who finds all of the mundanities of court so incredibly boring no matter where they're from or who they are. But I'm never going to find that here. Half of this crowd just want to marry for wealth, and the other half, well, <laughs> chances are they're marrying to cover up a scandal. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I like the occasional scandal, but nobles always have the most, um, disturbing scandals. <laughs> there are only so many skeletons I want in my closets, and I'd be happier if I didn't find any of the missing maids there as well. <laughs> Well, at least I can say I know what I want. The question is... Do you want the same? Someone who's not a manufactured partner. Someone who actually has a bit of life behind their eyes. <laughs> Someone who... would marry you for love and not just to do their duty. You do want that. Then prove it. You heard me. Prove it. You've got to give what you expect to get. It's one of the basic rules of romance. <laughs> and if that's what you want, then prove it. How? <laughs> Easy. Let's walk out, you and I. Just stand up and leave. Grab a bottle of something on the way out from a waiter and leave hand in hand. <laughs> it will be absolutely scandalous. <laughs> I only wish I could see the pearl clutching and dropped monocles that'll ensue. <laughs> After that, we can drop this facade and do whatever we want. Go home waste more of each other's time. Slay a dragon. We can reclaim an evening from the mundanities of court. <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> did you just, did you just pocket a gold ashtray? Oh my dear, I think I am going to love spending time with you. Well then, lead the way, fearless leader. We have a night of trouble ahead. <laughs>